Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the Intel booth at SC12 in Salt Lake State. I'm here with Steve. We're here today to talk about Intel's uh, parallel development tools. So what, what are you showing today, Steve? We're start showing Intel Parallel Studio XE, our development suite for Linux and Windows, and in particular showing how easy it is to build your application that runs well both on Intel Xeon processors and on the new Intel Xeon Phi coprocessor. Well, that sounds good, Steve. Can we take a look? And... Certainly. All right. Okay, Steve, what are we looking at here? Okay, I have here a Fortran program that's doing a Saxby loop. That's an AX plus Y sum, uh, single precision, pretty simple thing, and I parallelized this using OpenMP. Uh, the OpenMP directives here are a little bit hard to read, but this is just a standard OpenMP program. I build it and run it on our Xeon uh, Sandy Bridge E5 uh, system with four cores, and over here it calculates the gigaflops per second, and I get about five gigaflops per second. I take that same program and I compile it for Intel Xeon Phi, just adding a, an option on the command line to say compile for Xeon Phi copy that program over to the Xeon Phi card, I run it and I get only about 1.1 gigaflops per second. That's because the individual cores on the Xeon Phi are slower than on the Intel Xeon. I only ran it on four threads, four cores, uh, the same way as I did on here. But the Xeon Phi card has more than four cores. This particular one has 57 cores. I left one core free for the operating system, ran it on 56 cores, and now I get 17, almost 18 gigaflops. However, the Xeon Phi is also hyper-threaded with four threads per core. So 56 times four is 224. I run that and now I get 74 gigaflops out of that. However, also, Intel Xeon Phi likes vectorization and to vectorize efficiently, you have to have data alignment. So all I did in the Fortran program was I added a switch to say, align all of my arrays on 64 byte boundaries. I added one directive to tell it that a loop had all aligned data, and I ran it again, and this time I got nearly two teraflops out of the Xeon Phi processor. Well, that's really great, but I take that same program, the same source, and then I recompiled it for Xeon, and I get, uh, where are we? Let me scroll down here, 67 gigaflops out of the Xeon processor. And the message is that you don't have to do anything special programming for Xeon Phi. All of the efforts that you put in optimizing your application for Xeon Phi will benefit running on normal Intel Xeon processors as well. Here I was simply showing, run it, compiling a program native, running it on the Xeon Phi. There's also an offload model where your program runs on the Xeon processor and offloads work and data to the Xeon Phi. It gets crunched there, the data gets copied back. Well, very cool. Thanks for sharing that with us today. You're welcome. Good job.